In my mind, all these carbs right now, for one thing, it's gonna help me recover. Clearly, I'm not too specific about where I'm sourcing them from. Like, for the most part, the calories are calories. That's pretty much always been my approach to it. Calories are calories. Just juice, juice. What is your approach, Sam? What are you trying to do with the fitness industry? Are you taking it to a way in which people are not gonna be healthy? This path that you can go down where calories are calories, juice is juice, right? Let's go for a drive. If a calorie is a calorie, it's kind of like saying a Ford F-150 is a Honda Civic, right? Yes, they're both cars, a car's a car, right? But you gotta go deeper. And I understand Sam knows this, but the fact that he is saying a calorie is a calorie and he's in quote unquote influencer, right? And I know it's not his fault that he is an influencer, but people look up to him. You gotta have good information to give because a lot of people are ignorant and don't understand that a Ford F-150 is different than a Honda Civic, right? They think a car is a car, just like they think a calorie is a calorie. So we're gonna go see what the difference between a calorie is. Sam Solk special. This package right here. 170 calories. Well, the thing about it is that's one cup. Sam Solik's bowl is probably, I would guesstimate, around four cups of cinnamon toast crunch, okay? That is exactly equal to this entire package. They're the same calories, right? A calorie is a calorie. The difference is gonna be that the amount of protein in this is almost 100 grams, whereas the amount of protein in this is gonna be about eight grams. But not only that, the amount of sugar that you get in this, the amount of carbs, the amount of fats, all of the other things that come from these calories is gonna be so much different than the calories that come from these. And so let's dive into that a bit further. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, 170 calories per serving. Once again, it's one cup, right? Sam's gonna have about four cups, but we'll just keep it simple with one. Beef, 170 calories right here. 170 equals 170, right? A calorie is a calorie. Okay, so we break it down now. Let's go a little bit further into it. Four grams of fat, eight grams of fat. Okay, well that's actually double. Okay, so you have two times there. Here you have 33 grams of carbs. You have zero grams of carbs. Okay, so obviously that one's bigger. Sugar. Now over here, there's no sugar in beef. There's actually sodium. Well, what do you need more of? Sugar or sodium? Sugar actually is a zero calorie gain. You get nothing from it except for a good taste in your mouth. Sodium you actually need in order to hydrate yourself. So what's gonna be better there? Well, I would probably give that one to the beef side, the sodium. Now protein. You got two grams of protein or 23 grams of protein. Oh, if we're trying to put on lean muscle tissue, we're trying to have a good metabolism, you're gonna need more protein. So obviously that one's gonna be better. So does a calorie equal a calorie? Well, right here, Obviously it doesn't, but let's go a little bit further. Let's look at the ingredients, the things that come in each one of these. Well, here you have canola oil. It's gonna be a processed food, an oil there that's gonna be high in omega-6s, which are terrible for your heart, your blood pressure, your cholesterol, all that sort of stuff's gonna destroy it with canola oil. You also got fructose. Fructose is gonna come from a sugar. That's why you got 12 grams of sugar. You got fructose in there. And then lastly, you have soy. Soy destroys testosterone levels, not to mention all of these things that are probably gonna destroy testosterone levels as well. Over here, we have beef. One ingredient, you got beef. Okay, so is a calorie a calorie? Well, Sam, calorie is not a calorie. But for his case, you have this over here. It's right here be a nice little juice. You got some juice coming in, okay? So with Sam, he's injecting the juice. If you're injecting the juice and your testosterone is coming from a supplement outside of the food that you're intaking, then it makes sense, right? A calorie is a calorie because all of this stuff that helps increase your testosterone levels, that helps you put on muscle, isn't needed. Because you got this right over here. So if you got juice coming in from an outside source, then of course you can have cinnamon toast crunch. Of course you can have any of this sort of stuff. It makes sense because we're getting it from the juice. But if you're not juicing, if you're not taking steroids, if you're not having performance enhancing drugs and injecting it into your body, you need beef. But with Sam juicing, he can eat this stuff and still be fine. And by all means, when I say fine, I mean look good, right? He can look impressive, he can go out, he can actually become an influencer and make money, which is great, good for him, but you, you trying to become a healthy individual, you trying to become a better version of yourself, supplementing with a protein source is gonna be your best bet, not sticking to Cinnamon Toast Crunch, juicing and reducing your lifespan, your whole future, taking your future and instead crushing it and bringing it to now, that instant gratification is not gonna be beneficial for you. And is that good for him to do? By all means, I'm not telling him he needs to stop. It's his life, he can do what he wants. He's not harming anybody. But what happens is when he starts influencing other people, 
other kids, allowing them to destroy their own lives, that's when there's a problem. That's why we don't talk about this sort of stuff. It's not even legal. It's an illegal banned substance in the United States, banned on all sporting events, and so you're not allowed to do it because it's not healthy for you. It's going to destroy his life and his future. Heck, I would be surprised if the guy even lives till 35. At the rate that he's going right now, he is not going to be healthy in the long run, nor is he healthy right now. And so influencing other people to do that is not right. But it's not all his fault. Sam honestly seems like a genuine guy, and so I wanna to touch on that a little bit. So at the end of the day, I don't agree with what Sam's doing. See, I mean, he is now, quote unquote, an influencer, right? He is affecting other people's lives through the things that he's doing every day, right? Going and working out, going and eating the junk food, going and juicing and using these performance enhancing drugs in order to improve his life. That's his life and he's doing that. But the fact that millions and millions and millions of people are seeing that, and that's the first thing they see to get in the fitness industry, is tough for me to agree with but you gotta take it with a grain of salt because it's not his fault. He's doing the things that he loves and it's honestly on the viewer to take that those things and instead use those to help your life, right? Because, I mean, do you want to be 21 years old and have all of the negative effects that come with the things that he does? Or do you want to learn from mistakes? Learn from the things that he does that are good and the things that he does that are bad and take that and make your life better. See, the good thing about Sam is he's authentic. He stays to his core in doing the things that he loves each and every day and just sharing with other people. And that's one thing that I respect about the guy and I think is one of the reasons why he's blowing up so much is because to his core, he's just a good guy. And it's really something cool and fresh to see that we haven't had on the internet for a decade now. We've had the beastification, we've had the crazy over the top, flaunt this, flaunt that, brag about this, brag about that, but Sam is just genuine. And guys, that's what I'm trying to do here. So if you want to see how to increase your testosterone without using that juice that Sam's using, go ahead and click this video right here.